Hey guys, Aiden from London Grapple. Today we're going to look at two options on how to uh, counter outside ashy heel hook positions uh, with a bear and bowl. So the first one we're going to do is seated. The second one we're going to do is standing. So Will's got me in outside ashy and he's threatening and he's looking to, to bite my heel. So we don't want this to happen. If he does bite my heel, I'm in trouble here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top hand or inside hand, I'm going to put it behind his top knee. I'm also going to take this left hand and just secure it just, just uh, on his lower hip. So we, we wait and we bait Will to start to chase this heel. So as Will starts to commit and look at my heel, I'm also following and I help Will with this bottom hand. So I push and I pull. Push with the right, pull with the left. So as he goes, looking for that heel, we push and pull to hit. From this position, we squeeze our knees, we've got his, his uh, leg locked. If he were to stop here, we can then just start to extract, hit a seatbelt and take the back. <clears throat> what quite often happens here is Will will fall to a hip because he knows that if he stays there, he's gonna get pinned. We're gonna take his back or uh, pass him. So as he falls to this hip, we're gonna catch, we're gonna go to the trap. So we get one, two, and the key is this, this foot stays inside. So we're gonna to roll towards his feet over the shoulder. So we roll, we keep this left knee tight to his hip, and we extend here. So we extend, and as we extend, then we turn our hips, our knees, sorry, to the mat. From here, we throw our left foot inside, start to hip escape around, seatbelt, and we can take the back there. Body triangle, have your right. Same technique for people, back a bit, for people who are more comfortable with heel hooks. The moment Will catches my, my foot in a heel hook, we can actually escape this position. We have to be very quick before he starts trying to read the time with the hand that's bitten my heel and applying hippie pressure. So, same setup. Sometimes you might need a bit more of a forceful pull with this bottom arm. So you can push here. I prefer to push here and based on this foot. So Will, all I need to do to protect myself here is get him to his shoulder. So we base, grab the bottom hip and base on my left foot. As Will looks to connect his hands and commit, I lift. I'm out now. We're in the same position. We can take the back again. If Will continues his roll to his other hip, trap grip, hip grip, and then we're gonna roll towards his feet, extending away. Throw our hooks in and come around the body for the back tick. Now, we can apply this same scenario to a standing position. So were we in a position where Will's gone to outside, outside Ashy, if he can turn my knee in, I'm in a lot of danger here. So I've got to be very heavy on this leg. If I'm heavy, it's going to be much harder for him to do this. We're going to do the same thing again. So this hand goes behind the knee, other hand comes down to his hip. All I'm looking to do initially is to clear my knee from inside his legs. So I pull with the bottom, push with the top, and we stack Will here. Typically, Will will be keeping this high, trying to maintain this position. Like we did in our previous videos in the 50-50 bolo back take, we're gonna to start to fall onto my left hip. All I'm doing is looking to throw my knee to the pocket of his hip here. So I throw, and from there, I can start to sit and flare my knees away to then start climbing the body with a trap and hip grip and coming around with a seat belt for the back. Just one more time. We're here, one, two, lift and turn in. Looking to just pop our knee in, turn away. But obviously as we're turning away, we'd be getting these grips as quickly as possible. Hip escape and then take our seat belt and Get our hooks in for the points.